Hello guys. I want to show you how to use lighting box into your project. I want to show you how to use lighting box uh, and UFPS. First, you must kill in your project from any post effect. For example, Mage Effect Base, this is from Lighting Box, not supported. Remove all your image effects from your whole project before importing Lighting Box. After importing Lighting Box, now I want to import UFPS. Uh, here you can see a project setting if you import this settings you must uh, change the graphics settings and player settings again okay i just import the project settings and ufps to my project wait okay now go to player settings switch your color space to linear uncheck uh, autumn graphics api add drag 3 11 remove drag 3 9 also you can add drag Okay, you can add direct 3D element and direct 3D 3D12. Uh, you must remove direct 3D9. This is too important. The other is not important. You can add Vulkan or OpenGL core for Mac or uh, Metal. You can add Metal GL core for Mac OS. Okay. Okay. Here you can change the project name because you have imported the project settings too. And the other is not important. Comes to go to graphics. Graphics. You can change the tire. It's not too much important by default. Okay, now I want to show you how to use lighting box. Uh, when you you can open lighting box window from here. Update main profile lighting profile. Here the camera. Okay, when you create a new scene and lighting box is open, uh, first you must save your scene. For example, tutorial and create a new lighting profile for your for your new created scene. As you can see, your name automatically add your scene name tutorial into end of the lighting profile name. Save it. Now you have a new lighting profile for your new scene and another post profile for post processing a stack automatically created uh, when you create a new lighting profile. The most important part is after creating profile is Set your main camera that ne uh, you want to add effects into that. So
So here I only have uh, main cameras. Direct your main camera camera here. Create a cube. Create a plan. Now you can see that the default lighting setting is good. Here you can customize the skylight or ambient light for your current scene. You can choose skybox and to cast the skybox textures color into your scene needs to bake real time GI or bake GI only works when you are using bake GI or real time GI. In Without baking, this does not work. So you can use color to set an, a simple color as a ambient ambient light. Okay. Here you can customize set your skybox texture, and you can use gradient color as ambient lighting here you can customize your sun settings for example increase intensity indirect intensity only useful for real time GI break GI here you can customize the sun color this is the afternoon color style Okay, this is the option to help you to customize your light setting manually. This will disable the lighting box effects and you can customize your ambient lighting manually from lighting window. If you turn it on, this settings will be override on your settings. If you want to use your custom setting, disable it and start working on your search settings. Here you can disable the sun and customize your sun settings manually. And when you turn it on, Press refresh to refresh the effects. No, this is the sunset. You can customize colors. And when you turn the sunset on, it will be applied. You'll see. Here you can change the scene lighting settings for example you want to fully real time light fully real time light real time GI will enable this option the bake it mode will enable only bake option Real time JN. This is not updates instantly. Okay. This is the render pass for your cameras. Deferred rendering or forward rendering. Deferred rendering uh, needed for a screen space reflection and better reflection probes. All reflection reflections will be works better in deferred rendering. Light types. You can change your light types. All light types. 
quickly with a single click here you can change all light shadows type only directional hard only directional soft turn off shadow directional soft hard all light soft currently we have only one directional lighting option here you can change the uh, light proxy settings automatically add to your dynamic objects you can read about proxy mode from unity documentation here you can disable the scene settings and manually customize your adjust your scene settings okay okay when you are using fully real-time mode uh, just select very low resolution as a light map preset to big fast as possible your scene the re uh, enlightened real time gi is too slow in medium or higher percents the very low is too fast with a uh, good quality so you can set your models to a static and start bake your scene currently we baking baked mode real time gi mode real time gi oh this is disabled we must enable it now we have real time gi now you can use skybox color as a scene color What happens to latest Unity version? Here you can bake your light map. You have baked your scene. You can increase its resolution. So you can choose real time GI and bake using lighten or fully real time. Turn off the GI for your scene. This is the boss. Bake GI for static objects and use real time GI for others no it's not logical you can use real time okay with this button you can open lighting window quickly also you can right click in scene view and press shift e shift f to open lighting window you can quickly press click right click on your scene and press shift E to open lighting window or press shift E or shift B to start back shift C to cancel back shift V to clear light maps first right click here and press control B V C you can show the shortcut big shift b shift e and open lighting okay you can add camera move a script to your camera to move in 
to your scene you can press FK to stop movement and work on your settings and press FK again K F and move press F to freeze the camera press F to move the camera also you can add a render box into your scene to take high quality high resolution screenshots into your uh, screenshot using this uh, shortcut K okay. first control first F2 to take screen you can see the high quality full HD screenshot without G, uh, GUI elements only the camera render okay this is the first part of the lighting box we will cover more options in the next videos I hope this be useful for you